Hi, Miss Zeglin here. Today I'm going to be reading the Collection 4 Literary Focus. This is on pages 340 to 341. What are the theme and point of view? Think about your favorite song lyrics or the posters on your wall. Many of them make statements about life, friendship, courage, or loyalty. Authors include themes, insights about life, and stories through descriptions of characters' lives. Authors also tell their characters' stories from a particular point of view. The narrator may be a character in the story or someone outside the story who is all-knowing. The story may also be seen through the eyes of a particular character, but not narrated by that character. Theme a key element of literature, a fiction, nonfiction, poetry, and drama is theme. Theme is a revelation about our lives and represents the discovery of a truth about our own experience. Themes focus on the quote unquote big ideas. Literature that endures, lasts through centuries, focuses on discoveries about the big topics in everyone's life. Understanding the nature of love, accepting responsibility, Understanding loss, dealing with ambition, discovering the joys and problems of friendship. You usually won't find the theme of a piece of literature stated directly. Theme is what the writer wants you to discover for yourself as you share the experience is of the characters. TJ kept the vision bright within us, his words shrewd and calculated toward the fulfillment of his dream from Antaeus by Borden Deal. Reoccurring themes. Works by different writers can have similar themes, even though their stories may be quite different. Themes recur in the stories we tell because some truths about human experiences are universal. Whether a story was written hundreds of years ago in a snowbound Alaskan village or typed on a laptop yesterday in Zimbabwe, Evaluating theme. Themes are often apparent even when you're not looking for them. For example, certain types of movies often highlight specific themes. Keep in mind that you don't have to agree with all the themes you discover in books or movies. Type of movie. Western. The theme could be, the frontier is a lawless place where problems are too often solved through violence. Type of movie. Love story. A theme could be, nothing is more important than finding love. Point of view. Novels and short stories are told from a particular point of view or vantage point. The three most common points of view are the first person, the omniscient, and the third person limited. When you're reading, you should ask yourself who the narrator is, whether you can rely on the narrator to tell the truth, and what the narrator's relationship is to the meaning of the story. First person point of view. A story can be told by one of the characters. In this viewpoint called the first person point of view, the character speaks as I. I is the first person pronoun. We know only what this one character can tell us. This narrator may or may not be reliable. We trust the speaker of Bargain is accurately reporting the events, but we also experience his involvement in the story and with the other characters. There was Slade, and here was Mr. Bomber with his bills, and here I was, just as before, just like in the second go-round of a bad dream. I felt like turning back, being embarrassed, and half scared by trouble, even when it wasn't mine. Please, I said to myself, don't stop, Mr. Bomber. Don't bite off anything. From Bargain by A.B. Guthrie. Omniscient point of view. A story can also be told from the omniscient point of view. This is the all-knowing point of view. In Latin, omnis means all and sinus means knowing. This narrator can tell you everything about all the characters, even their most private thoughts after 20 years is told from the omniscient point of view. The two men stared up the street, arm in arm. The man from the West, his egotism enlarged by success, was beginning to outline the history of his career. From After 20 Years by O. Henry. 
third-person limited point of view. Often a story is seen through the eyes of one character, but the character is not telling the story as I. This is the third-person limited point of view. In this point of view, a narrator zooms in on the thoughts, feelings, and reactions of just one character. As the reader, it's important to evaluate point of view with a critical eye. Each point of view may put a different spin on the same story events. Your turn. Analyze theme and point of view. 1. Think of a story you know well. Identify the story's theme and what it means to you. 2. Identify a favorite saying or quotation that you think would make a good theme for a story. Explain why it has the qualities of a theme and what it conveys or tells about life. 3. Explain the difference between the three points of view. Skills focus, literary skills, understand theme, understand point of view.